what's up guy guys um I just want to show you my cheap um multi pins I bought this a few years back at Walmart in the I think it was a party section it was like a dollar something like that but it writes pretty good for a cheap pin supposedly they're supposed to be scented but I don't think they uh I don't think they smell anymore because um I just they're just old but they still kind of right I think so apparently I'm just gonna do some swatches I'll probably just write like random things or somewhat so try to I'll just try the black first I know, I got sloppy handwriting. I know, so sad. <laughs> so sad, I know. <laughs> A little kidding garner could write better than me. <laughs> Alright. So... It's kind of hard to push down... Not hard, but sometimes they won't you know, like reach track track back in because it's so cheap. You just gotta push kind of hard. Phone try yellow. Might be kind of hard to see yellow. This one's purple. It's supposed to smell like grape. I was watching a YouTube video from a um, YouTuber called uh, the Journal Seal. So it, her videos kind of inspired me to make this video. Because she loves uh, scented pens. And she also likes that um that that <clears throat> swirl marble gel pens. Oh, dude, by the way, this is the ballpoint. So this is oil based pen. I wish it was gel. I like gel pens better. Yeah, actually writes pretty good for a cheap pen. Alright, so next color. Some kind of turquoise, I think. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be turquoise. Oh, my handwriting is terrible. Give me one second. So terrible. And my grandma sucks because I'm using a crappy cell phone. Oh, crap. Went back in. All right. So yeah, the journal CEO inspired me to make this video. 
because she loves Pants, and so do I. You know, it's funny because uh, I'm a 90s kid too. I'm from the 90s, and she's into like 90s stuff. She's a 90s person. I'm an, and she said in one of her videos, like, and she wonders if there's any other people her age or around her, you know, from her time that are into pens, which is me, too. I'm also into pens. I'm a pen addict. I love pens. It just makes me feel good and happy. Even though I'm not an artist or a professional writer or doodler, but I like to doodle with these pens. You know, like, I just like to, I'm not a professional doodler or something. I just, you know, I just draw random lines. Wait, did I already do this color? No. No, it's like pink, I think. The colors don't do it justice because it's just a cheap, cheap pen. But it works. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, back when I was a kid, when I first heard of gel pens, I'm like, what the heck? What's a gel pen? Is like, is that edible or something? Because when they say gel pen, you know, I picture like jelly or something. I'm like, is it made of jelly? I wasn't really into pens. I wasn't really into any stationaries when I was a kid. But if I could go back to time, I would. But there's kids in my classroom, you know, like, you know, mostly like the girls. They're into gel, jelly roll pants, something like that. And they would always say gel pants. I say, this one doesn't want to stay down. The brown one. Yeah. I don't know what's going on down there. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it. Just, I don't know what it's doing. Brown. Yeah, so anyways, all these kids in the classroom, they're like, oh yeah, do you have that gel pen? Oh yeah, I love my gel pens. And I just didn't know what they were. I didn't really care. I wasn't really into those. I wasn't really writing, into writing instruments. So. I didn't get into pens until like around 2009 when I was going through some deep depression and anxiety and I just start I didn't know what to do in life so it just one day I just start watching you know pen videos and like you know like you know fountain pen videos like calligraphy and stuff and I just, it just made me happy just watching those videos and it helped with my anxiety. Ever since then, I got into pens. I can't really afford a fountain pen. So I just stick with gel pens and, you know, roller bowls or ballpoint. My only, well, the only expensive pen I got was a gift uh, for my sister. It's called like a Fisher Space Pen. Uh, I guess like the... So apparently, like in space, they invented the Fisher. There's a guy named Fisher. He invented the space pen for the astronauts because supposedly, um, up in space, because it's you know zero gravity, and you know regular um pens won't work up there. So they, he invented uh, some kind of he, he invented a special pen that could be used up in zero gravity. Cause there's no um oh, what am I doing here <laughs> yeah so he invented a space pen for the astronauts to use up there this is like diarrhea green so yeah they invented it because supposedly if you take a regular pen up there because the pressure the vacuum in space you know if you take like um if I was to go up in space and take this up there, it won't work because it's zero gravity. Because when you're on Earth, the gravity makes the ink come down somewhat. And you're up there because it's zero gravity and you're, and you're 
Because it doesn't matter if you're upside down or sideways. Because it's zero gravity. A regular pin won't work. And not only that, it'll probably explode due to the pressure up there in space. Like the ink will just flow right out or leak right out. Because of zero gravity. And, that, and they were to take this to outer space. Like the astronauts are to take this to the outer space. When they're doing the spacewalk. Because uh, the the vacuum of space will just suck out the ink or it'll probably explode up there or, or burn. And the Fisher Space Pen um, is designed to, you know, they work in heat. I can vacuum up in space, like in the vacuum. So it's designed for that, for them. I don't know what I did with it. Some my room somewhere. But I like it. It's a cool. It's a cool novelty. It does ride in the water too. So yeah, the special, I mean, uh, uh, the Fisher Space Pen's awesome. It works at space. I don't, the reason why I'm writing my name because I don't know what else to write. Uh, I'll just pull. Uh, I'll just pull multi pen. I guess. Oh, that's right. I'll just spill pen. Well, it's a little spit skipping. It's been sitting in my room in the closet for over three years. So it's like, you know, not writing well. Yeah. I'll just write a different name. What color was that again? Did I just do brown again? I did, huh? No. No. All right. It was brown, I think. All right, the last color. Black. God, it came out sloppy as hell. So there you go. You know what? I'm just gonna take this out real quick to show you the inks in it. Soon screw it. See that? Oh, that's like a lot of ink. That's a lot of and cartridges. I don't really know how much it is. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's like twelve colors, I think. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, seven, nine. Uh, it's like eleven colors, maybe. I think I skipped the color, I think. Let me see. Hang on, give me a second. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think it's ten colors. Or eleven. Man, I suck at math. So there you go. That's my multi pen. You know, I'll probably do some more pen videos. Hopefully you guys like this video, even though it's kind of crappy. And then I'm no artist or professional doodler. But, you know, if you want, I'll go ahead and do some doodling. And some other videos, something like that. So, thanks for watching. And then also, I want to thank the... Thanks, um, the journal seal for inspiring me to, you know, to make a video also. Because I always, uh, I knew that people were into fountain pens and somewhat, but, but I'm more into, you know, just regular ballpoints or gel pens. I'll probably do a video on the signal. I actually love this orange. I'll probably do some more videos on that. So thank you for watching.